This is Iogium 2020 problem number 8. The problem says a 5 digit number in our decimal number system has the digits k, k plus 1, k plus 2, 3k, k plus 3 in that same order from left to right. So that means k plus 3 would be the units digit, this is the tens digit, this is the hundreds digit and so on. So if the number is m square for some natural number m, which means the number we have that is a perfect square, which is the square of a natural number m, we need to find the sum of the digits of m. So let us start by gathering the informations which are given. So first of all, we can see k plus 3 is the unit digit of, of the perfect square number. The number we have, it's actually a perfect square. So k plus 3 is a unit digit of a perfect square number. So the possible values of k plus 3 would be 1, 4, 6, 5, 9 or 0. Why I am saying this? Because any number you take, they should have the unit digit 0, 1, 2 up to 9. So if I square those numbers, the unit digit of square numbers is going to be 0 square is 0, 1 square is 1. The unit digit of 2 square and 8 square, both are 4. Similarly, for 3 square and 7 square, the unit digit is going to be 9. 4 square and 6 square, the unit digit is going to be 6. And for 5 square, the unit digit is going to be 5. So for a perfect square number, the unit digits are only these, these numbers. These are the possible unit digits of a perfect square number. Now, with this information, we can make a chart that what are the possible values of k. So first of all, k plus 3, we know this has 0, 1, 4, 6, 5. These are the possible values. Now, we also know that k, k plus 1, k plus 2, 3k and k plus 3, they are single digits from 0 to 9 because they are digits of this number. Now, k plus 3, if it is 0, then k becomes a negative number, which is not possible. So, this option is not possible and 3k is also negative. So, this is not possible. Similarly, if k plus 3 is 1, then also k is negative, which is not possible. Now, if k plus 3 is 4, then k would be 1 and 3k would be 3. So that, that is a possible option. If k plus 3 is 5, then k would be 2 and 3k would be 6. So that's another possible option. And if it is 6, then it would be um, 3. And then in that case, 3k would be 9. That is also another possible option. There is one more case that if k plus 3 is 9 then in that case k is going to be 6 and in that case 3k is going to be 18 but 3k needs to be a 3k needs to be a single digit so this is also not possible so that means we will analyze all the cases so the first case we are taking k is equal to 1 and then the number becomes 1 2 3 3 4 now, this is not a perfect square number because we know that any perfect square are always of the form 4k means a multiple of 4 or 4k plus 1. Now, why this is true? This will be a challenge for our viewers. Now, we can clearly see that this number is not 4k as this number is not divisible by 4 because if it was divisible by 4, then 34 should be divisible by, uh, divisible by 4. And it is not also 4k plus 1 because if you subtract 1 from it, you get 33, which is like 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, which is again not divisible by 4. So this case is not valid. Now in the next case, if k is 2, then the number becomes 2, 3, 4, 6, 5. Now this will not be a perfect square because every factor of a perfect square repeats in the prime factorization. So as 5 is a factor of this number, we can clearly see that 5 divides this. So 5 should be twice there. 25 should also divide this number, but which is not the case here. 25 does not divide this number. So that means this is also not a perfect square. So that gives us the idea, okay, the last and remaining case, k equal to 3 must be the correct case. So here for k equal to 3, the number becomes 3, 4, 5, 9, 6, which you can check very easily that it is a perfect square number and it is the square of 186 
So the sum of the digits of 186 would be 15 and that's our final answer.